here we are, fresh off the boat. We had lunch. Oh, you can eat crab. And this is the town of Skegway. And it still looks like it would have looked back in the Klondike days. Very. Still looks like it looked back in the Klondike days. And it's very charming. But of course everything is jewelry stores and gift shops and that type of thing. But it still is so cool. Here is a Klondiker and his guide and they would have come from Seattle and got off here in Skagway and they would have probably gone up the White Pass. The White Pass was 45 miles of sheer torture. Particularly, you have to remember, every person crossing into Canada was required by the Mounties to have 2,000 pounds of food and materials with them, or they were turned back. Because the Mounties, a lot of people died on the route because they were ill-prepared, and the Mounties wanted to be sure that they were prepared. Now, if you didn't get off here, you went up and you got off at Dai. In Dai, you took the Chilcot Pass, which was 33 miles, practically all of it straight up and down. And you had to carry 2,000 pounds of goods up the pass. And you better have some friends along to help you. But they needed 2,000 pounds too. But the real problem was, is that when you got up to the top of the pass with what you could carry, you had to leave it there, come back down, and bring some more up the pass. And quite often, when you got to the top of the pass, the second time, third time, fourth time, 
at time. Your goods were missing. Not a pleasant start for making your money. And actually, by the time most of them got here, the gold rush was already over. The ones that made their money were the ones that got here first and actually discovered the gold.